Grand, rising to my king, queen, goddess, and goddesses. You know it's terrible with one star. And I got to hit the Virgos up. Sun, moon, rising, north, northern Venus. You know we got to do it all the time, Virgo. You know how we do it, Virgo channel only. This is the disclaimer. Only take what resonate. If it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button. If it doesn't resonate for you, then again, it may not be for you. Only take the bits and parts that does resonate. Flip it, twist it, reverse it, rehearse it. <laughs> Any way that you got to do, you already know how we get down up in this channel. Now, shout out to all my new watchers, subscribers. Thank you. We have got over 500. You know, my goal is to want to get like 5.1 million. So... We got a long ways to go. It's all right. Well, whenever it resonates, and to the people that it gravitate towards for the high energy, it is what it is. So with that basically being said, I love every single one of you that's gonna get down and dirty. You ready, Virgo? Now, during early today, it kept on being heavy on my spirit. Like, spirit kept on embedded in me because I was just thinking about y'all today when I was at work and it was like time to clean house, tell them time to clean house. So that's the title of this one Virgo, it's time to clean house mentally, physically and spiritually. Now, you may need to sage your house, go get some sage, you know, may get some Florida water, you may need to get rid, but you got to get rid of them unwanted deities that must have to go, okay? It may be some people that came in your house with some bad energy or, you know, you may be at work and it may be the energy from work may be on your shoes. So, you might need to go on the sage around all the places, start cleaning your house. Anything that's not suitable for you, anything that you don't wear that got some old energy on it, man, give it, throw it out, start new, okay? It may be some addictions you may need to sacrifice to learn how to balance. Uh, watch out for the freeloaders. Uh, Spirit also want me to tell you, watch out for the negative tracing your mind mentally. Uh, Virgo when it's dealing with uh, negativity like you can do great things just switch your mindset and watch out for the people you may hang around they may have some toxic behaviors um, watch out for people who got that hater type of energy and maybe some snakes that's with, uh, among you or some wolf in sheep clothing or somebody who's trying to backstab you or saying uh, a friend of me that's the best way to say it you may need to light a white candle and watch out for the leeches also. Them the same thing as freeloaders. Now, with this light, uh, with the white candle, and you may need to start focusing more on light work, being a more person, being a Virgo that you are, just being more on the lighter side of things. Start looking at ways, both ways, okay, before you start reacting. Now, the white candle represents protection, healing, being connected with within higher self and divine unity or harmony. So, you got to keep yourself mentally aware, and just remember, you're still being watched from afar. I think we talked about that yesterday, Virgo, when I went live. Um, also, delayed plans. Make sure, uh, it may be some plans or some flights that may be kind of delayed or some projects that may be delayed a little bit. Don't get discouraged, Virgo. You got to keep pushing. Remember, on this channel, we heal. We lift our vibrations. So, we got to maintain how to remain humble and remain focused. Now... Make sure you also speak with your divine. It may be a time for you to go on some prayer or some isolation. Uh, you know, just talk to yourself. Uh, write down goals for yourself. Write down the things that you need to do within the household, outside the household. If you're becoming an entrepreneur, things you may need to work on to better your business out, okay? Now, you also may need to ground yourself and be aware, okay? Because things are starting to finish shake up and get a little rocky. Maybe this is for some. Only take what's resonating. I feel like some of y'all may have um, been working real hard and maybe having trouble sleeping. Some of you may have insomnia. And then again, some of you may be having like uh, a sleep apnea issue. So go take some sleep studies uh, also. Okay, Virgo. Now, today, break down a little astrology right quick just for today. Like Venus is hitting Neptune, right? So this is the annual time. So your thoughts may be uh, of feeling a little bit dreamy for the day. Uh, you feeling real beautiful, you know, the weather may be beautiful, you feeling a real good high sense of passion, right? So, Spirit want me to tell you, even though you feeling this energy within what's going on right now, you also got to remember, uh, be careful because your emotions are heightened. So, make sure if you're looking for love or you're looking for something in that type of nature that you are uh, talking to the right person instead of somebody toxic and your emotions just accepting anything. Be cautious, Virgo, okay? Now, tomorrow, it's going to be a, uh, a little 
a little, let's say, wake up moment uh, because Saturn uh, and the sun will be hitting on tomorrow. So it may be a little bit of hyper rational energy, but don't get carried away with yourself. Stay balanced. And this is from this already been going on. So it's from the 12th to the 18th. OK, Virgo. All right. Now, how everybody doing? I know y'all got y'all presents. I know y'all got everything going. You made that's why you feeling good. Cause yesterday we were talking about love was in the air. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit God and the universe, we just want to thank you for another day that you bring every Virgo up on this channel. Please bless them, lead them, guide them the best way that they need to know. Please give us the blueprint and the understanding to help them guide themselves towards the understanding, towards the peace, love, and light for the highest understanding. Ashe. All right, let's go ahead and get some energy for the Virgos. Spirit guides and the universe, what do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus. What do we have for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus. What is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus. Can I get All right, Virgo, current energy that we got right now, we got a double clarification because it might be some dual energy that's going on, okay? Now, I feel like you're going through a completed cycle. I feel like the cycle, the cycle is now being completed and you are starting another one maybe with more stability or more being more in a long-term uh, project that you're seeking. and maybe something that you're building. It can be a relationship. It could be some of y'all may be going to school and you're starting to take on a new project or start to uh, uh, understand more about a certain project that you got, right? So let's go ahead. Now, current energy. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We also got the Four of Pentacles, right? Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, we already know. It's some type of cycle that's taking place. Everything is going well, and it's time for you. It may be some good luck coming towards you, and it may be uh, go coming towards your destiny because you divine for your uh, your income. Some of you may begin a financial increase. Some of y'all may uh, take it as it resonates, but if you want this, you got to claim this at will. Some of y'all find it more stability in what you want for a long term in life, but you got to... Uh, be careful not to hang on too long because the cycle of the struggle is officially over for some of you. Okay, Virgo? Now, it's clarified by the Eight of Swords basically being in reverse to Magician and also the Queen of Wands. So I feel like even before we break it down even, even more on a logical sense, so you know how us Virgos are. So I feel like with the Eight of Swords basically being in reverse, I feel like it's something that you are just now finally starting to accept. You are no longer feeling trapped inside your mind logically or you're feeling blindfolded about a situation. I feel like some type of clarity has taken place for you and now you are starting to manifest and you are finally learned from a cycle, right? So I feel like you are being more on that drive and you being more nurturing and you being more inspiring to go on this journey up on this path. Let's break it down. Now, as we sit up, as I said about said that with the eight of swords basically being in reverse, it's letting us know it may be a challenge again, or it may be a slow process that you're going on whatever you're manifesting because it may be a lack of direction in your past, or maybe some type of setback that's probably held you back. Now, this could be a friend. This is when it comes to the channel message at first. It can be a friend that held you back. It can be a loved one that probably held you back. It can be Aquarius, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Only take something that resonate because it could be in your chart, Virgo. Okay, now flip it to flip, take the roles how they go. So, even though while you're going through this and whatever you are manifesting or whatever you are trying to put into play, I feel like it's more growth. You're expressing yourself more ever since you start to let go, and the actions you are taking place, even now, people starting to see you being more um, not overprotective. What's the word to say for it? Mm, yes, I feel like you are making more of that strong, valid decision to be more inspiring and being more encouraging when it comes to whatever this project is and whatever the growth may come through. Remember, it's time for you to clean your house. So I feel like you are cleaning your house from maybe the material things because, you know, it's a new cycle. So maybe some new materials is coming in for some of you Virgos. Maybe you are manifesting things for a higher a uh, higher source for you, financial stability. Remember, that's the key thing that we are looking for. Now, let's clarify. Spirit guides and the universe. What? Can anything else that's say with the current energy? Let me go to her, girls. I say. We're going to take these three. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so even with this uh even with this new cycle or this new uh destiny going towards your finances, right, to be more stable, even though you're starting to let go or whatever you um mentally and starting to manifest onto more of a valid decision, because all the hard work that you got with the uh ten of wands basically being upright, you put in a lot of work into this. Like whatever the project is or whatever you are manifesting, you've been putting a lot of work. <clears throat> I feel like God is answering your, uh, hearing your prayer. I feel like the divine is hearing your prayer because whatever it was, you had to let go of, over some type of toxic person in your past, Virgo. I feel like, or it may have been a Capricorn with some of y'all that you may have been dealing with. I also see every Sagittarius and I also can see a little bit of Gemini in this with Libra. Take it as it resonates. But now, even though you put in all the hard work in what you are manifesting, even all the hard pain that you went through the past. Now, Virgo, we've been hearing this a lot. Even though what? All the pain that you've been through, I just want to say kudos to you because you pushed through and you persevered to go through what you need to be through. Even though people at your work or at your job or wherever you may be at or whatever you may be doing, people been hating on you. People love for you to do their work for them, love for you to do everything that you need to do for them, but they don't want to see you shine over them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like people would love to see a Virgo do all the work by being the ones for the act of service. But when it comes down to a Virgo getting the gratitude and just the appreciation, that only thing we don't even ask so much. Only thing we ask for is just a small appreciation. And we'll ride with you like a dog down to the end. I hate to say it. Look, I, hey, Virgo, I hate to give a little leak out the truth. But, you know, if we got somebody that we cool with, we rock it with them to the end. If they keep it solid 100, no matter what, they can be whoever. If they keep it real with us from jump, we're going to rock with them to the end. But let's keep going. Even though you put in all that hard work, even with the devil card basically being in reverse, it's something you may need to acknowledge mentally. Even with the queen of swords basically being in reverse, you need to uh, stop cutting excuses with yourself. Stop cutting words and stop being so defensive, okay? So even with these two queens, I feel like you are but you are emotionally being up in, emotionally, excuse me, in your feminine energy. However, mentally you gotta think before you react. Remember that was one of the messages. Think before you react, Virgo. If not, take it how it resonates. Only reason why you thinking before you act so you can walk in a bliss because you may mess up some type of blessing down the road, okay? I don't know why I feel like I got it. It's some type of choice that's gonna come down throughout this reading. So let's see what else that we have for the Virgos, okay? Spirit guys, universe, what else do we have for Virgos? Some more rising north, north, and Venus. What else do we have? Can you give me the challenge? Give me the challenge. What are the challenges? What are the challenges for Virgo? Some more rising north, north, and Venus. What are the challenges? Asha. Now, I feel like right now, Virgo, you're not, I mean, yeah, Virgo, you're not flowing. Um, I feel like intuitively you've been spiritually blocked. There's some type of blockages that's going on. I feel like somebody may be draining from you, and I feel like the light that you used to have to shine for you, Virgo, is not shining. I feel like some of y'all may be out of alignment, even dealing with your root chakra. So, um, some of you might not be grounding. Some of you may be just walking the life and need to refocus and get back into alignment. Now, with the tempers basically being in reverse, it's just letting, um, I just feel like even with the red, like that's how I got the root chakra, but I feel like you need to start healing yourself, okay? Because I feel like you're not, uh, you're forcing yourself trying to find happiness, okay? And it's coming but you gotta hang on just a little bit longer. You still feeling sad. You may be still feeling some type of disappointment. You may be feeling um, like you lost lost somebody. Uh, maybe it could have been a loved one. Take it as it resonates because this is the uh, the three of swords. So mentally, you may have been going through some type of heartbreak. You may found out some type of um, not injustice because just uh, justice is next. But I feel like even 
when you sit up there and have to heal from this heartache, from this disappointment, from somebody betraying you, it could have been a third party situation. It could have been some secrets that you found out about and you felt like it's not suitable and not fair because even with the justice card basically being reversed, you felt like you've been manipulated. Okay, Virgo? And I understand the reason why you felt like you was manipulated because out of all the stability and the hard work you may be put into somebody, um... You got to let it go, Virgo. You may be, have to put in a lot of wealth, uh, a lot of materialism, uh, materialistic things into a lot of people, and they did not show the reciprocation. So maybe that's why you be feeling upset or feeling disappointed. Okay, Virgo? So even with the hangman basically being in reverse, yes, this has blocked you. This has hurt you, and it has blocked you spiritually and mentally right now where, remember, the stuff that you are manifesting, it, you getting there, but you had to let go of some things. And I feel like once you let go of these type of uh, things and you started to hit that healing to start being precise more on yourself for this happiness you went back in your mind we're going to start thinking about this third uh this third party situation or sometimes somebody who betrayed you or somebody who was a friend friend of me like you thinking about that and it made you uh become a little bit more off balance from the hard work that you put in and it's blocking you mentally and it's blocking you and it's creating some kind some type of harness on you where you can't progress forward okay so let's keep going spirit guys and the universe what else do we have for virgo what are some of the challenges yeah, because, yeah, while you seem to be in block with the star card basically being in reverse, it is letting us all know right now, me, you, it's letting us that we still got, it's not identifying the problems from within because we got a blockage of some sort, okay? So them are the challenges that you're going to have to face, Virgo. You're going to have to start learning how to go back and flow, and you got to realize in order to seek that happiness, you got to let go of that betrayal and start healing from even though you put in hard work, you got to let go because it's blocking you mentally, and it's also creating you with a lot more other blockages so I feel like it can start dealing with your finances because you know being in depression or being in some type of heartache or heartbreak is kind of like a, dis a disease so when we break down disease it's this ease it's something that's not easing to us mentally it's something not easing to us physically and it's creating something that's not easing to us spiritually okay so let's keep pushing Spirit guys and the universe, what else do we have for Virgos? What are the guidance for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. I'm going to take it. What else do we have for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Anything else for guidance? I'll say. I don't even know it's coming with clarifiers. All right, here go the guidance, Virgo. Y'all ready? Let's rock out. Now, the current energy for the guidance spirit want me to tell you, you still got to seek some type of wise counsel. We got the hair front in reverse. So I feel like you need to uh, watch out for people that's being around you. They may be giving you some misinformation. So watch out for those. Somebody may, uh, you may feel a little discomfort, but you got to keep pushing. You may need, uh, you may feel discomfort because the person probably told you some wise information or tried to give you wise information, but it's the misinformation that they gave you that led something to be toxic or some, um, something that you may be holding on to, okay, Virgo? And now, even with that, with the judgment, you got to make some type of valid decision by letting this go and start stretching out. Spirit wants you to start expanding your horizon, start jumping over the obstacle of whatever you need to jump over and start seeing the light. Start seeing, being, uh, start recovering even a little bit more about yourself. But once you start recovering, you will start becoming a bigger, brighter vessel. And believe me, they already going to receive their karma, okay? Now, even though you're seeing the light, you're becoming more nurturing. You're becoming more abundant. You're becoming more grounded into your solid walk with, with the universe and with everything that you need to be. Even with the Ace of Wands being in reverse, you're going to block somebody's blessing. Somebody who ever done karma to you, they're going to have some type of lack of passion. Uh, but it's going to be delayed for a minute. Remember, we still the main thing for you is let go of this creative block. Okay, Virgo? Once you let go of the creative block, everything's going to fall into place. Because remember, this is divinely meant. The first card of the reading was the Will of Fortune. So this is a cycle that's taking place. Even though you're going through everything you're going through, you're going to make it, baby. Let's, uh, anything else for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. What else do you have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus, Spirit. 
What else do we have for Virgo? Anything else to say? All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out my African tarot deck. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. And again, I hope if you like the uh, the message that resonates, hit that like, comment, subscribe button, and make sure we share with other other Virgos around. And I'm thinking about opening up. Um, I'm gonna put down the price list. Well, this is gonna be like. I'll put it down below in the description box. There you go. Three so guys, ain't universe. What else do we have? Can I get one more? Well, I'll take those. The energies, I shine. All right. So I guess let's go on and talk about it now. Four Pentacles basically being in reverse. Spirit guys, I feel like they're trying to tell you. Uh, even though things may be feeling tight, even though you may feel like you are holding on to things very long, you need to uh, let it go. Your greed might be in the way of somebody greed may drain you. Like greed can be from energy. Somebody may, you may be wanting somebody energy or wanting some money, but somebody may be draining your energy, okay? So even with that being said, don't let nobody drain you because even with the Knight of Wands basically being in reverse, it's letting me know that you need to protect yourself at all costs. You got to watch out for everything that's going on and Spirit want me to let you know, even when the end of the cycle comes, because it is coming because like the Wheel of Fortune, so as soon as this cycle ends, you will start becoming more stable and walking in your bliss and walking in your harmony, okay? You will be feeling like you are walking in your more matrimonial state. You will be be more uplifted you'll be gr uh, grounded even more Cause remember you cleansing your house you cleansing yourself mentally spiritually and physically and as you also doing that keep on manifesting what you need to manifest you are breaking every generational curse Virgo okay even you hitting the, on this channel today you are now becoming healed you're becoming more of a better person you're being uplifted and I just want to say thank you for letting me be a part to help you it's just as well as you are part of helping me as we are all a part of helping the universe so with that now with that being said I want to say Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. If you like everything or something resonated for you, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Remember, one like, one share can bring somebody in who truly care about changing their life. Peace, love, light. Light, love, peace. Until I see you to the next time, baby. Love every Virgo. Yep.